You know, Caitlin. Yes, Jackie. You're not going to get a sunburn in here. But it's so fun, isn't it? Do you want to practice twirling? Yes, I do want to practice Ooh. twirling. Oh, we have to Ooh. do synchronized twirling. Oh, I love that. I do too. Can we just mesmerize the viewers yes. the whole time? Mm. In case you're wondering where you are, you are not at the, what is it called? An aviary? <laughs> the little pink aviary? We are at Caddy Jack's Knits. And we are sitting in Debbie Corp living room. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to New York. <laughs> we are so <clears throat> grateful to be here. And Debbie, so grateful that you are hosting us. Mm -hmm. Debbie's supervising She's just on the other side of this right. camera. Do you feel her presence? Yes. I'm behind the camera. She's today. going to pop on again in her all her of her loveliness. But this is Caddy <coughs> Jack's knits. Caitlin has some allergies. I do. And I'm Jackie. And I'm Caitlin. And we are visiting you from New York City. And we are fortunate enough to be here thanks to our patrons so thank yes. you thank you thank you for making this trip possible and we're hoping that this podcast will bring you into the fold of our experience because it's been magical yes and totally if you magical. are brand new here what you may not realize is that <laughs> i live in wisconsin where caitlin used to live and she moved to tennessee and we have a patreon so that we can come together <laughs> And podcasts. We should because, do that with her. Because I like to touch Caitlin. <laughs> In fact, it was so good. We were out on the porch knitting yesterday, and she had a shawl, and she had it, and I could like, and, but what was underneath the shawl, I didn't even realize, and I was just stroking, and I was stroking, <laughs> and I said, realize it was so good. That and, I'm under the shawl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I, she said I was turning her on, but... <laughs> <laughs> there you go folks okay. thanks for tuning in james it's okay we're sleeping in separate beds we are this time usually we don't caitlin is married to james who I is am. in tennessee and lovingly supporting me being away he's sending photos of half-eaten pastries <laughs> exactly so. he's he's fine yes he's fine so we have <clears throat> two videos today that we're going to put together and this one is the video where we give you all the bits and bobs and play play details of our New York trip. It's the New York haul. Yes, the New York <laughs> haul. But I think, I don't think we can underscore it enough. Also, our gratitude to Pearl Soho mm -hmm. and to all of you who have been participating in the Half Wrap Cow, yeah. which is going strong and which Pearl Soho has offered a generous, uh, generous prize so just keep in prizes. mind prizes yes there are enough prizes for one i think seven people mm -hmm. and plus they just had a giveaway this weekend yes. so please look on we'll put all the details on our show notes we'll put the details on where you post on our ravelry page your finished object thread to be eligible but you have <laughs> until Rhinebeck weekend on friday to post your photo it does not have to be made with linen quill no but it is a magnificent shawl that has brought so many people mm -hmm. so much comfort and joy. So we encourage you. We invite you. We don't implore you. We're just telling you it's damn good. It's, it's, <laughs> if I was going to swear, now is when I would do it. It's so damn good. good. Oh, I'm, wow. I can, I'm, I'm the swearing half of the podcast. You which are? Is totally... You're the swearing half? No, no. I'm the swearing half. Are you? I, I. Yes. Okay, but, and this is a soda-friendly podcast. <clears throat> I should have gotten a drink. But, I know. Um, well, you can get up and get yourself a drink. Okay. I'm worried your head's being cut off from the video. It's okay. You guys want to see the top okay. of my head? I haven't gotten my hair done, oh, so there. It's it perfect. Um, can we just talk about yeah the the pink? Well, oh. I was going to say first off. Oh, okay, like, fine. Can, fine. Do you see the pink bird? And I just it's can't. kind of perfection. I know. I just want it. Does I this just... pink bird have a name, Caitlin? Well, I. <gasps> oh, look at the. So pink bird. I will just can say. Pet them? Is yes, you can you pet, pet them. them. Yes. Ooh. It's, it's not, not a real, real bird. This is from Pittsburgh Mercantile. <laughs> this is a new acquisition 
um, from Susie Corb, and apparently there are a rainbow of options. What sound would this one make, by the way? I, I, I'm not a good bird call person. Oh, but she has an app. Have you ever told them about it? I probably haven't, but um, I have an app called Song Sleuth that for any birding crazies out there, you can be out in the wild or in your backyard, record the sound of a bird, and it will identify usually three or four options of what it is, and then you can play the bird's call back. Um, I'm a total freak about it, so. What's the bird call, Debbie Corb, that your family makes to say I'm the home? The morning dove. Yeah, what is it, Debbie? You know, the one that's a... <laughs> Thank you, so Debbie Corb. <laughs> we need, that's what we need to, when we announce that we're back at the apartment, yes. we make that sound. Exactly. We've been instructed. <laughs> anyway, so Debbie, if this goes missing, <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Anyway, it comes on its own little stand. I will, uh, I will oh, hurt you. I will I, come after okay, you. Okay, fine. Will well, you. you'll come find me in Tennessee, and then we'll yes, visit, and then I'll give it true. back. Um, but that's not the only Pittsburgh market. I mean, I feel like we um, are so in love with everything that Susie curates. I mean, she is a master curator. Susie is Debbie's sister, mm -hmm. and she is the owner and shipping department of <laughs> Pittsburgh Market. Yes. <laughs> yes, and um, the, the most wonderful delivery came today. Today in the mail. And Do you have the little box? Or not. It's okay if yeah, you don't. Yeah, it's in here somewhere. What are they called again? Do you remember the name of these? Sepelia. Sepelia. Do I have the box? Oh, I do have the oh, box. Good. Hold on. Okay. I have the box. We're just so, showing. Because we're showing you all case, things. Some of you, some of you aren't interested, and some of you are. And what happens if we don't tell you about it is we get a hundred oh. individual <laughs> messages. So those of you who aren't interested, just keep we knitting. beg your patience. Keep, keep knitting. knitting. We will have yarn and knitting, but this. These are the, this is the same maker who brought us the closer. bird earrings. Um, so I'll come in. There's my cleavage, sorry. And this but. is, Sibelia is the, um, the artist. Mm. And we have several of her. Well, mine are also Sibelia. And first of all, do you hear? Yes. They're like wind chimes. So not only are they beautiful works of art, but you get to enjoy the sound they make as you wear them. So anyway, that we, we absolutely adore and love these earrings. And every time we wear them, people stop us and we basically hand out a card saying, Pittsburgh Mercantile. Pittsburgh Mercantile. So yeah, anyway. So they're incredible. So we just wanted to mention those two right away. And we are also dressed up because our whole plan is for this evening to go out. We've, only, we've been eating in mm -hmm. wonderful, delectable food. Debbie is an excellent, take take out, out. order -er. <laughs> basically as you know you can get anything you want in in new york city but tonight is our big night out so Although, this is not how we you know perhaps the takeout peak was yesterday when she ordered in donuts, donuts. <laughs> they're still over there i think i yeah, think go I'm, like, I'm gonna go get it go get a donut it. On her. but we we did go for a walk last night we saw yeah, all the, the little outdoor what are they called those little outdoor spaces huts, huts. And they were so charming that we decided that we definitely wanted to eat out once. And so we are, we made some reservations and here comes Caitlin with a box of donuts. And some of them have been eaten and some of them haven't. From the Donut Project. The Donut Project. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this without dumping them all. Yeah, you're not doing it very okay, well. Okay, then I'll show them. Show but look at this beautiful, I think I I thought you should have just brought that one over. Oh, that one's pretty. That goes yeah. with my outfit. This is peanut no, butter and jelly. Beet, that's the beet juice oh, glaze. Beet with, beet oh. with yeah, this is mm. the creme brulee. Oh my gosh, it's making me hungry. Mm. Anyway, um, we mm. have eaten nothing but sugar oh. and pasta. No, and we've had lots of carbohydrates, we have. which we, we have. needed to keep us going. Have a sip of water. So. Anyways, we're going out for dinner after yes. we record, and that is why we are dressed in our frocks. This frock is Debbie's, and it's magnificent. It's yes. funny because I all I, I had this. We're gonna get some knitting in right away. Yes. Because oh. for some odd reason, whenever and then we'll keep going. We're flowing. <coughs> but flowing. Caitlin has finished her, and I I was oh. instructed to do yes, this. Yes, you were, because it did it does match the whole. Um, I I had a vision of these earrings and this shawl. 
um, they had a white dress and all three of us in them mm -hmm. but we have me in it and tell us about this just briefly we talk so about it this later is the mayor shawl by mm -hmm. moonstruck knits who of course if you've been watching us um you know that we are absolutely obsessed with natasha hornby's designs and Debbie, of course, knit it first. I feel like there should be a, a little pin saying, Debbie, Debbie knit, knit it first. first. Um, and then Jackie followed. And um, I had always planned on knitting it at some point. Um, and then a lovely viewer, Tony, um, contacted me and said she was going to knit it and she could get the yarn and would I like some. And so we always are in the spirit of saying yes to things because of the, <laughs> the just what i mean just in terms of like experiences and all of that and so while it probably wouldn't have been the first color i would have chosen for myself I, but it does I, match the parasol it does match the parasol i mean anyway. and you could borrow my parasol anytime thank you so much mm -hmm. she's so generous with mm -hmm. my shawl mm -hmm. and um anyway so thank you tony debbie <laughs> Debbie's got a call. <laughs> um, no, okay. it's okay. And Debbie's I, actually working. We're just here lounging, and Debbie's right. Debbie <clears throat> is working. Oh. But I did think I would share the white dress poem that I wrote because some some of our viewers have said they miss poems, and so I thought I'd share <clears> one because I I put <clears throat> I write poetry and I put it on my personal Instagram, J Domini Rose. And I don't always put it there, but that's mm -hmm. where I put it. And I think, I think it's fun to read. So Just read it, this one, course. yeah, this one's called The White Dresses. So since I have one on, I will share it with you. It says, the white dresses, the white dresses of your wanting, of what you go toward and what must be unbraided to let your hair fall free. The white night you recognize beyond the shrill boutique of one's desire the thicket shred. There was always a thrifted life, softly finding you, one that was just your size. And how what you thought about walking away from, even then, this generous path that had its, uh oh, there we go, <laughs> had its gentlemen and its angels telling you just try it on so you might outgrow the costume that never fit and find the white dresses that are waiting to find you. Mm. 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 And this was the white dress that was waiting to find me today. In Debbie's closet. Yeah, I mean, that's the joy about traveling is the having to be in the flow and mm -hmm. what do you, and the unexpected and the plans and all of, and the plans that you let go of. And, mm -hmm. and that the same goes with our lives too. Yes. <laughs> and so good. we've all, all of us, <clears throat> have had many unexpected things in these last mm. months and years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this really has felt like a celebration. Yes. And you know, and it's funny because there's a little part of our brain, or at least my brain, my brain just tick, tick, <laughs> we ticks away. We don't have the same brain. <laughs> Mine tick, tick, ticks away that <clears throat> we're too much and like tone it down or something like that. We are or you are? Well, I don't know. I, 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 it's, <laughs> I like but, how your brain includes me whatever. having to tone it down. It's okay. But the <clears throat> thing is, is you see, if you follow us on Instagram too, it's Caddy Jackson, it's, you might see all of the frolic and fun, but it's paid for with a lot of shit up in mm -hmm. here. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> so it's really... Here's her personal therapist. Yes, yeah. I know. I know. She earns her keep <clears throat> as my best friend. And, but it's all good. So yeah. hopefully this, today, this is just going to be a, a love and joy fest. <clears throat> well, and the other, and we've been, as you were saying, taking lots of photos because that's what we do. And we want to share them with you. So we do share them both on our Instagram grid and in our stories, which mm -hmm. if you're not really familiar with Instagram, it's the little round um, thing at the top and we do have a highlight that we saved that we labeled was it NYC, NYC. Mm -hmm. so if you've missed it you know the past few days or you know missed it by the time this is published go click on that because it's a feast for the eyes and we hope that you'll feel like you're just we took along you with along. us yeah yeah so. absolutely anyway so we we got here on Wednesday and we'll so we'll be here for a full week so um, uh, it, we have not, we've only had one day of rest. <laughs> yeah, we rest, we yeah. rested on Sunday. We, <clears throat> we just did. sat and knit and it was really good. Cause this is knitting camp. We call it knitting camp and our whole goal is to do everything 
involved with knitting. Mm -hmm. um, we do have this fabulous, we finally have a secret knit we can't show you mm -hmm. because we're doing a shawl swap with us with a group of friends and <laughs> oh, it is so hard to keep a secret. OMG, it's hard to keep and a I secret. And I was doing really, really well until I realized I sort of said something out loud. Jackie yeah. and I were on the patio and sitting next to each other and I said something. She thought it was in here. Mm -hmm. and, and I then, looked at and her and been, I was and like... she cannot keep a secret so it's driving her crazy. Uh -huh. um, and, I w and all of a sudden I sort of blurted out who I had. Mm -hmm. And she looked over and laughed. Mm -hmm. So I know, but she knows. we, I think, you know, if you're, it's a really joyful thing because it's a bunch of ladies and we're designing the shawl to suit the lady, but it only seems fair that we're not they designing, get, we're selecting, selecting, yes. but selecting the yarn. Yeah, sure. That's what right, I meant. Right, yeah. Like, yeah. No, we're not, we're not, we're no. not doing designing Oh, I see what pattern. you mean. Yeah. Yes. But <clears throat> designing the knit in yes. that. The choices yes um to suit them and it feels like they should see it first but yes. we'll show you after we will we'll we'll definitely do a recording at some point so you can share because it mm -hmm. is so i mean mine's over there yours is over here it's and so close them. and we want to share mm -hmm. um and it is really really difficult so that is taking our time too so we don't have a tremendous right. amount of knits but we can show you and then we'll get into all of this we can show you a knit that a lot of people do keep a secret, but we aren't keeping a secret, which is our Rhinebeck sweater. Oh, true, uh -huh. true, true, oh, true. Yes. So we um, look at that. We've crossed. We did. We crossed paths. Okay. Um, we are knitting something. Um, oh, from Caitlin. Oh, Jackie, from Lina Ma Lina Magazine. I'm going to say Lina. From, That's right, Lina. From the. Um, Winter, Winter 2020. 2020. And I have to say that when I saw this magazine and flipped through it, I honed into this pattern and, and have just been... Did you take the post in note? I out? just did, yes. Oh. That was really smart. Anyway. <laughs> While you just chastised me. I did. Well, you know, whatever. The best laid plans. Was... I will talk about this while you look for the pattern yeah. again, even it though is. I put a post in note. <laughs> We're going to be knitting... <laughs> Excuse me, well, Jackie, uh, we're going to knit the Selly, um, which, and there's two versions. There's a cardigan version and a um, pullover version, and we're knitting the pullover. And why did we choose this one, Caitlin? Why did we think it was a good idea? Well, we thought, since the detail, the majority of the detail is on the sleeve, you can see that beautiful sleeve detail that we could wrap ourselves in our half wrap and show off our Rhinebeck sweater at bada the same time. Bada bing. Bada bing, bada bing. So if anybody else would care to, you know, <laughs> um, you're welcome to. But um, but we've been mulling over our Rhinebeck sweaters for a year mm -hmm. or so. Mm -hmm. So, and, um, and then we had... Um, were contacted by Melissa and Lisa from Espostry Co. who told us about their glorious, glorious new yarn mm -hmm. that they have curated all mm -hmm. of the colors. So do you want to talk about that? It's called Sunday Morning. Which is 75% blue face, Lester, 25% Masham. And it, it looks to me, if I recall when I was working it up, like it's two ply mm -hmm. and it's very soft and glorious. I think it comes in DK and we got fingering weight. And Caitlin's main color is Wanderlust, mm -hmm. and mine is Cover to Cover, which is this gorgeous blue, which I have caked, but right. you know, it's We've harder. We've already started. We swatched. We've been swatching. I have a little story to tell you. I think it's funny that, you know, we met Melissa on Instagram through her not liking blue either, mm -hmm. and that was a big moment of triumph for Caitlin. It was. Because I was such a fan girl of, of Melissa and Lisa. And then Melissa reached out and said to Caitlin, out of nowhere, you know, she was a total stranger, I don't like blue either. <laughs> Love you, Melissa. I for know. For so many reasons, but that alone <laughs> puts you over the top in my book. Yes. So anyways, I do think it's perfectly fitting that I am knitting mm -hmm. in blue. Yes from Melissa yes. and Lisa. Yes. And then we thought we would get the same <coughs> colors for our arms. Mm -hmm. So this one is full English and this is shh and they'll go together, which I think yeah. shh is appropriate I for mean, us. That, put your blue next to it. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, how glorious are those? Right. So excited. Yes, absolutely. Oh, so, so excited. I mean, the, the, the yarn just feels, there are just some yarns that you just know you will love. Yes. Um, and so you should check out um, Sunday Morning Beautiful yarn. palette, and of they, course. They they have this little washi tape that goes with sort of the Sunday morning theme. And the names of the yarns are Oh incredible. my gosh. Part of us really wanted to pick color, uh, pick yarn strictly based on the name what was your favorite dirty weekend dirty weekend i mean i loved that immediately and i love the color too oh I love, they're I, all i actually a, can't wait to knit a sweater in that one in dirty weekend mm -hmm. and then just stay in your bed mm, yeah, yeah. perfect <laughs> right um uh, anyway we are so excited to be knitting this and and and, and just a little nitty detail which mm -hmm. is interesting when you swatch it's, you know mm -hmm. it's interesting because this particular pattern is knit on a us two and a half yeah. which is a strange Tiny. strange needle and it, it's not in this case <clears throat> so i had to order a additional what are these called interchangeable, interchangeable two is, and a that's half a Chiago. let's just show it red lace you, I, we've talked about this on the podcast, but um, I, this is what I knit with exclusively and absolutely love and adore this. Um, this uh, set comes from size two, comes with size two through 15. And you can see they're all labeled. Um, and they're, we, what we discovered, there's extra little pockets on the side. So when Jackie ordered just the tips, mm -hmm. she can put her 2.5s in there. Mm -hmm. We also have, and they come with, um, various cables and you can order extra cables there's um well we're not in love with the fabric of this it mm -hmm. does have it's well designed because it comes with a little um, needle gauge and a pocket to put everything and we also both have the two additional sock sets um so that can go they're from, called sleeve sets sleeve. for me oh sorry no they yeah. are oh, called oh, socks, oh, right. but i use them but they sleeves, those go from socks. one set starts at zero um, on tiny, tiny little cables. But anyway, um, this is a, a wonderful set, a total, um, you know, great gift knit for put on your Christmas list because it, it's definitely an investment. But mm -hmm. when you think about how many um, needles you buy and the cords and all that, I love it. Um, I love that I can um, just unscrew, you know, if I'm, I'm doing the neck band or the sleeve, or, you know, the uh, ribbing, you can just unscrew it and then move to the, the larger size for the body and vice versa. So it's really great. But I was thwarted immediately. Yes. <laughs> so I was That's like, and, I'm, and I'm not an interchangeable needle person. <laughs> no. So that was, it was, it was pretty funny for me, but it's fine. Because it, you were like, oh, well, I'll just switch and get my size. And oh, I don't, I don't have, have it. And, and and also we're having a hard time getting, you know, just telling you how it's going, having a hard time getting the gauge and just the little detail in that is I don't care. Like I sit and sit and sit and try to get mm -hmm. the gauge. And then when I can't get it, I just feel my swatch and go, which fabric right. do I like the most? And you all know this, but it's good to hear it many times when you're a new knitter, I think, is you take whatever you're getting mm -hmm. over four inches divide it by four so you get it over one inch and then you take your bust measurement and you add your ease and you go okay what then you figure out how many stitches you need mm -hmm. and you knit that size right. so you really can knit the fabric you like and you can choose your size according to that too right. if it's not working out i had to do that with the fox thoughts too <clears throat> and that is completely fine it was exciting well i'll talk about it when i get to that whip because I had I had another little needle thing come mm. along but let's let's keep going because we have a lot we have a lot to, to share so we're you know just know that we're we're sharing with you all of these little things that we've kind of um uh, picked up along the way in our New York trip and I personally love picking up little things like uh washi tape and you know ribbons and all that so Day one, mm -hmm. um, after we arrived, the next day, mm -hmm. um, we met our friend Christy, mm -hmm. Christy Glass, mm -hmm. um, and she lovingly showed us around to her all favorite of her places. favorite places that were sort of um, fabric and accessory related, and so and books and, and books clothes and all the and things and just, food and yeah, yeah. and um, public restrooms. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, she was amazing. Yeah, she right there. I mean, that public restroom. <laughs> at um bryant park it was glorious was, it was like walking into a five-star hotel yeah. i mean it was beautiful it had a, like a maitre d and everything yeah uh but we 
I totally just lost my train of thought. You were getting little knickknacks. Little knickknacks. Oh, so, so I was going to say that. So we will um, do our best to list all the sources and places that we stopped in our show notes, which is in the little arrow down bar mm -hmm. below. Um, and anyway, so we went to this incredible Japanese bookstore. Um, and But the downstairs portion of the bookstore had all sorts of arts and craft supplies mm -hmm. and beautiful beautiful knitting books and crochet books oh, and needlepoint of course they were stunning. all in japanese so if right. you're fortunate enough to speak write and read japanese this place is for you otherwise you could use google translate probably. If, if you actually speak write and read japanese and english i honestly think you should have a podcast mm -hmm. and you should have a you and like you all of us knitters would line up Ugh. and beg to take classes from you on <laughs> translating because Japanese design is so incredible. Oh, yeah. So please contact us yeah. and we will, we can we'll have a to... knit Japanese patterns. Yeah. Like uh, extravaganza. Anyway, so yeah. I, again, I just wanted to take a Show. little thing with yeah. me to remind me of that wonderful store and I got some beautiful washi tapes. So yeah, that was glorious. fun. You didn't get anything there, did you? I don't think so. And then we popped in right next door to this amazing uh, trim um, store that had ribbons mm -hmm. and which we need to pop back to because I yeah. need to get a thing. I'll show oh. you what you would be able to get. There. Yes, I'm so, going out of order. Go ahead. Oh, you. Oh, just because well, I want to say. Go ahead. Say what you want to say. So you could get things like clasps and stuff like that. Oh, so just oh, right. Very just. Oh yeah, that's right. So <laughs> later we went to M and J trim, which we'll talk yeah. more about. But I got this piece of trim. I wouldn't have bought it if I hadn't gone to the earlier place. Oh. Because you can just buy a clasp and either you could turn it into a necklace if you'd Beautiful. like, or it would, I also thought it would make a fabulous little bracelet, right? I mean, I love it, but I do need to have a clasp for it to make that happen. It's so beautiful. So I just bought a little piece of trim so and we'll, I need to go back. So we'll talk about the, yeah, so we'll come back to, but, um, and I, what? Oh, don't go oh. to MJ trimming. I just oh, said right. it about okay. the class. Okay. So um, I'm trying to think what else we bought there, but I think that, that was all. It. So um, Jackie has a fabulous handbag that um, mm. makes me cringe every time she puts it down on the ground because it's just so, so beautiful. And I was saying to her that what she needed to get was this little hook that you hang on a side of a table when you're out and about in public um, that will hold your handbag. And lo and behold, we weren't even looking for it, but we're standing in the trim place and I looked at the what was on display and there they were, this wonderful hook that basically you put the weight of the, of the bag, my yeah, um, will then hold the hook. And we've decided this is the perfect knitting bag accessory so that you're not putting your beautiful knitting bag on the ground. And look at that, so yes, and your best friend could just hold your bag too. Right. Like, why do you need a table? I could just stand here for Jackie and let her knit as yes. we walk down the sidewalk. Yes, right? and we do continue to learn things about each other, even on this trip. Do we? Yes. Okay, are yes. you sharing those things? Just that Caitlin is very generous and helpful. That's all. Not that I didn't know that, but there's all these little ways that you are generous and helpful. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there an edge to that? No, story? there's no edge. Really? There's no I edge. I think you're kind of. I think cold. we missed a little something. Yeah, we did. We did get that, and this came. Th these came before we went there, but we're gonna show them. When we, oh, we don't, I don't, and I can't remember who sold these, but these are knit collage Wild fabric flower. tassels. This is part of their. Her newest edition, um, Amy's newest edition to knit collage, um, and we will look for the link um, to these earrings. But th those arrived before I left for the and, trip. And, and just the them. reason why I'm saying it again is this is a store where you can get stuff like. Do you see just sure. the little? It's like a bead store, so there's yeah. trim and notions. And but then you can just take your knit collage and turn. It's a kind of creativity that I know very little yeah. about. Yeah. And, but so I didn't really know what to get in there, but I just looked around. And now it's like, oh, I could have done that and that and that and yeah, that. Something, so, yeah, something. A world to open up. But to I'm me. so excited for this. Yes. I, and I think you could embellish. This one's kind of plain on top. Well, that was the other thing. Yeah. She, even when we bought it, they have little. What do you call them? Zhuzh it up with a Zhuzh, little, yeah, little sequins or, and you know. little 
like bees and things yeah, like that. Sure. So, so anyway, Caitlin's that was gonna get that. On that. Okay. And then we um, walked down to the garment district um, and we went to M and J trim. Mm -hmm. Um, and again, look in our stories cause you can get a, a view of sort of how magnificent this place mm -hmm. is. But I, per when I was going in there, I had in mind some things I wanted to look for. And what I wanted to look for was beautiful ribbons that, um, when I create a flower arrangement, like a bouquet to have beautiful silk, um, ribbons to tie around it, or even when I'm photographing my floral arrangements, um, to have that out on display. And I absolutely fell in love with this velvet trim. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, did you buy, you bought ribbon, right? I bought ribbon. I, I have this sweater, which I'm gonna show you. It's the Rhinebeck sweater from Loopy Mango. And I'm gonna show you one more picture of it because it's um, it has a very wide neckline. Yeah. Very, very wide neckline. And so yeah, I, I right thought maybe I could string ribbon through it and, you know, cinch, cinch, cinch it, it in because it's really pretty cinched as well. Yeah. So we'll see. Fun, fun, fun. And, and then, of course, the bead section. I had to call Christy. Christy and I were in the bead room and we called my mom and just... You mean the button room? The button room. Button I'm sorry. Room. The button room. And we called my mom and she just freaked out. On FaceTime, out. right? We, we yeah. FaceTimed her and we just said, well, pick a color at least. So Sally picked pink. Mm -hmm. And I won't show you before I show Sally, yeah. but we all... Well, didn't Sally see what you did? I showed... No, it was oh. kind of like a <coughs> side view, yeah. like a tease. Sure. You're good um, at that. Yeah, we did a tease. Yeah. Okay, we're giving some pop-ups, but you okay. won't see those. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, um, so that was super fun. Super that incredible. Just, and BJ Fabrics was super fun mm, too. Oh, I mean, if you have a, a fortune to spend, there are fabrics that are. Yeah. Oh, it was so amazing. It was amazing. stunning. It was it's stunning. Just, even if you, you're you not a sewist, just going into places like that is so inspiring. They There were so many um, knit fabrics and things that could you could buy a piece of fabric or look at a piece of fabric and think, oh, I could design a sweater the or palette. I might want to, yeah, the palette for the yarn you might pick. So it was mm -hmm. just, we were just overwhelmed with joy things, as we yeah. are right now. It was all so good. <laughs> yeah. So we'll keep it moving, yeah, Kate, we and we're going to keep, keep it, it moving. moving. Um, so then what happened next? I think we're going to go to Brooklyn. We're going to go to Brooklyn. Yeah. So the next day we, um, we had some things. So we've had some things on our bucket list to, or checklist for what we want to do. And I hadn't been to Brooklyn general store before, but Jackie and, and Debbie had gone the last time you visited. Um, and we didn't buy any yarn. Mm -mm. Um, but again, it's a, just a spectacularly curated store. Um, they, you know, sell beautiful, beautiful yarn, fabric notions. And um, Debbie had a good time, and <laughs> she usually does with her yarn purchases. Um, and then Jackie um, purchased a tarot card deck. Well, they're not tarot, but oh, yeah. What are they considered? Oracle deck. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Oh. That's um, the book. Was it, am I holding this for you? I just like... thought you could show it. Oh, all right. Like, okay. Yeah, because I yeah. was going to draw a card like Amy yes. does. Oh, ooh. You know, but yeah. Amy does it in advance. Amy Calco. And, yeah. And so, anyways, I want to just quickly say a lot of you already know how to use them, but they're just very fun. They're not, they're not at all meant to be supernatural. They're just meant to be like a Rochart blot. You know, you just literally can just um, encounter one and go, what is that? Like, yeah. What is that third point of reference? You know, here's right. my day, here's the card. But we've we've drawn cards, and I will just say, it was a very powerful, insightful, to every time I've drawn yeah. a card, it's blown my mind. So you you really want to check this out. It was just Except for lovely. when I drew the same card twice last night. That happens sometimes, I know, and too. it was not. Because, but yeah. so fun, so yeah. fun. If you just, like... Yeah, it was a really beautiful deck. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. You want me to hold it up and? Yeah, well, I, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna pr preview. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. So you talk about. But the you can next at least show what the book looks like inside because it's beautiful yeah. illustrations and um, and everyone has an association of several words for the um, mm -hmm. for the image and mm -hmm. it's just really exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
It looks like this, yeah. the image and whatnot. Yeah. So, and words and description, yeah. but I'm not gonna, I'm okay. not, not gonna do that. I like how you were like, we're moving this thing along and, and <laughs> I'll draw a card, I'll read a card. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that yep. was that was your purchase. And then um, we hopped back in an Uber and went to the Brooklyn Botanical Garden, which mm -hmm. of course I was completely blissed out about and as you were too. And um, we had, there was a looming thunderstorm. So we had a brief, um, I don't know, half hour or so mm -hmm. frolicking in. Um, the, the lilies were all in bloom. Oh, so it was just absolutely so magnificent smelling. And, yeah. and it was actually, it's super gorgeous to visit a garden. It's terrible to visit a garden in broad daylight yeah. and, and high noon, high, high you know, but because it was, and it was a really hot day, but because there was a storm, the weather just yeah. kept changing, the light kept changing. So it's yeah. very dramatic and the air was so yeah. tingly and <coughs> thundery. And anyway, so it, it was, was glorious. And then we spent some time in sort of their an atrium area waiting for the rain yeah you know who complains about oh gee i have to go inside and knit right <laughs> but there was glass everywhere so we could watch the thunderstorm and there were snacks mm -hmm. so the snacks were good mm -hmm. um so brooklyn botanical garden is just such a wonderful um experience mm -hmm. and then you know i don't know where it all came in but we got to go strolling and we went with Debbie and Christy and down is it Bleecker Street yes, and all yes. I mean Bleecker Street basically has all the shops you see on Instagram and, yeah you know it's just glorious getting to try things on and play and look well I don't know about try things on but see them sure. in person sure. just such a great window shopping and we did and we did an eighth like the total eighth grade girl thing at the four of us got these adorable. amazing little I don't know what tchotchke I necklaces. I'm just gonna twirl mine around, um, and around with our initials. So Christy and Debbie are out there in the world with their mm -hmm. K and D, mm -hmm. and um, yeah. So they're and of course I was loving these because they're just little press flowers. Oh, I love and them gold so much. Oil. So yeah, uh, we will link those as well. And um, it just cute little like memory of our time together. Yeah. So, so that was so fun. good. Love that. Mm -hmm. And we could try. So I, you know, the other thing I always seem to look for when I'm um, on a trip is something that I can use as a um, Christmas ornament so that I can hang oh. it on the tree and be like, mm -hmm. oh, that was what, you know, mm -hmm. I did that that year. Mm -hmm. um, so I love that. Mm -hmm. uh, what else did we do that day? That's Probably. good. That Whatever we... It. That was about it. Yeah. Uh, and then what's next? I mean, really, I, I think to... We, oh, I know what we did. So when we, um, before we did Bleecker Street, or maybe that was... The, the day before, we walked the High Line. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. And the High Line is this incredible area that um, used to be an elevated train. Then they converted it to gardens and sculptures. And maybe we did, did we talk about that? Probably, well, yeah. Whatever. We'll anyway, um, so we've um, really got to enjoy that. And, and that was just lovely. And, and that's where, and then we went to Chelsea Market and that's where we got our adorable parasols. Yes. yes. And wait, depending on how we edit this, I'm just yes. gonna say up front, there is a whole episode with, whoops, with Debbie and Christy, where yes. we talk about all of that yes. time together and where we talk about our, our day and et cetera. Yeah. But we didn't bring the stuff downstairs to show you. Yeah. And, but we did show you the sweaters I knit, but I one of the things I didn't do was put them on. So I'm going to quick put them on because I always like to see a finished object on. Um, we all do. Yeah. Especially so, on you. So I'm going you to- wear them so well. Oh, thank you. So You're I'm going to take a moment because it's nice and cool in here to put them on so you can see the fit. Crank up the air, Debbie. It's nice and breezy. <laughs> okay, so this is Paula Pereira's uh, oh, beautiful, it's called Louise. And it's just, it's with knit in Hone Rocher. I don't know, I wish I, I would probably could back up for a second. Yeah. Here, I'll back up for back a second. Back up, lady. I still haven't blocked her, but she's just magnificent. magnificent. You know, very dramatic and mm -hmm. very warm and very light. I, you know, when I block, I expect that this cable will sit down yeah, a little more yeah. that's kind of sticking up right now, but I love the neckline on it and the little collar. It does have sh 
short row shaping. I even added some short row shaping down <coughs> here because I felt like it needed it to lay flatter, et cetera. And I, I altered the sleeve a bit, which you didn't get to see before. So I put it on Instagram. I just changed the cuff up but the cable goes all the way down the sleeve. And the most remarkable thing I think are the tucks. Mm -hmm. These are those same tuck stitches that I learned how to do when I did the- um, Letho. The letho. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's one of the most fun techniques I've done in a long time. And yeah. That, and they look, it looks intimidating, but it's not. It's yes. just reaching down and pulling up a stitch below. And I'm gonna put on my bright sweater too, just so you can see the fit, because it's nice to see them on. I like that yeah. to get an idea. No, oh, I did modify the neckline. Oops, oops, uh -oh. oops, there we go. So I'm gonna come oh. back here. Oh, back here. So beautiful. So and you have blocked that, right? This has been yeah. blocked. And the only modification is the neckline. I did one of those fold down necklines, so but beautiful. I mean, I don't think you could want anything more out of a sweater. This yeah, is just, no. I feel like you all need to knit this. Yes, it's incredible. It's just so beautiful and easy to wear. You mm -hmm. can wear it with anything. Yeah. You can dress it up, you can yeah. dress it down. My dream when I first put it on was to um, wear it with jean shorts, which I did. Mm -hmm. But anyways, I love the bright sweater. So this was, I think I said in the other podcast or the, you know, it's knit in the original yarn. So lovely. Stepping over here yeah. for a second. Um, so yeah, that I means so. It's okay. Are you okay? She's mm -hmm. cottonary, are you? Um, so incredible to see those on because mm -hmm. and you did some fun videos and photos. Thank you. Too, Thank you. So. Okay. <clears throat> and I didn't shed that. No, much. you're good. Okay. So I think we're getting to today, right? Oh, today. <laughs> So what I, happened? Yeah. Oh, can I tell you about how I woke up? Yes. So I woke up this morning and Debbie is so dedicated. She works out every day mm. and she- For two hours. Yes, yeah, and we just sit around and eat, Caitlin and I. That's why she bought the donuts. You girls stay busy. You eat a donut yeah. or six yeah, we, and I'll we be working out. we figured Debbie out. Okay, Debbie. But anyway, so I woke up and I said, Caitlin, we're going to go to the flower market. I, I, I'd always dreamed about it. She'd always mm -hmm. dreamed about it. And it was just the perfect thing. And yeah. I looked at a map and it, I knew, I'm, it's so fun that I'm starting to know my way around. Mm -hmm. And you know, it helps because Debbie's always, always talking about where I'm going and where things are and landmarks and Christy did it. Yeah. And now I'm yeah. getting my own sense too. Yeah. So anyways, I knew how to get and there. And we love to walk. Like yeah. that, that to me is one of my favorite things about being in a city is walking everywhere. everywhere. I mean. You wouldn't, it, most of us in our normal life would be like, oh, that sounds too far. I'm not going to walk. I'm going to drive. But when you're in a city, that's what it's all about. Oh. It's where you see everything. And uh, Jackie's also been super patient with me because I have been flipping out about architecture and all the details, all the doors, mm -hmm. all the plants, all the, I mean, gargoyles. It, the gargoyles and the, just everything. The buildings here have so much character and detail. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Yes. So um, again, I put a lot in my stories too, where I've been sort of saving those as a New York trip too. So yeah, so um, follow oh the Instagram feeds yeah. too. So we went to the flower district. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't, words cannot describe. Jackie can write poetry about it. I, I was just, my jaw was on the ground. Um, you, you just turn the corner and the entire block long city block on either side is you know a floor flower store after flower store after greenery store after floral accessory store and it's just mind-bogglingly bogglingly gorgeous it's all the beauties oh. of the world shipped into that one little oh. block oh. so there'll be boxes of orchids from vietnam yeah. and there'll be bananas from the dominican yes. and they will be you know and local florals and, yeah you know i mean it just it goes on you know artificial or dry so, yeah. greenery trees i mean you can go buy a tree yeah um it just is it, we spent hours there yes. and it, we could i 
could go back every day and not be bored. Oh, I mean, absolutely. Can you even imagine? I was thinking about it. Like the the beauty that was there today would be very different in the winter. I mean, there. Right. I mean, some of it would be similar, but the changing the seasons, it was so incredible. So we highly recommend going there. It's free, that you don't have to buy anything. I think if you want to buy things, you don't have to be a wholesaler to purchase mm -hmm. things. They're happy to sell things to you. Mm -hmm. um, but it was just so glorious, and we both just put a ton of photos yes. on the feed. Um, and so then we, um, and one of the fun things that we encountered there were just um, all the stores that support the floors there. So you can walk into stores that have ribbons from floor to ceiling that are all meant to tie, you know, around something when you're doing an event or the vases for it or mm -hmm. it goes on and on and on. And we flipped out when we got to this one section of yeah. ribbons. And Do you want to pass us your ribbon too, Debbie? Can you do that okay. just so I can show it? Why yeah. not? So, yeah, we found these linen wide ribbons and we thought they would make like incredible belts and, you know, so what we could do is we'll style it and we'll take a picture yeah. and put it on Instagram because I'm not going to unwind it. I also thought, you know, this linen, I mean, like my mother could use it in oh, her sewing totally. or whatever. So we got Debbie, her signature red, and we did get some for one of our um yeah just they're just beautiful so yeah. they're fun yeah. and we got a little gift for one of our, our patrons, patrons yeah. too so, so we'll do it. we'll we'll contact our patrons about a giveaway for that but we always want to um think about we always think about bringing something home with us that we can share with our patrons because we again we couldn't do these trips without you so we want you to be able to share in that experience and it's just a little a little thing but um hopefully you can Feel our love um, coming back at you with some really fun things. So that Absolutely. was incredible. Um, we went back to the High Line to, you know, do m more walking, more just, um, what do you call it, forest bathing? That's a Japanese term, mm -hmm. but oh, city mm -hmm. garden bathing. Mm -hmm. oh. Absolutely. And then we ended up, we hadn't eaten breakfast yet because Jackie was like, we're going, we're going, we're going. And I was like, we haven't eaten anything. And it was mm -hmm. probably 11 o'clock. And so we hopped into Chelsea Market and had mm. one oh, of the most amazing haven't... food experiences. Um, yes. What was the name of the place? Sarah, Sarah Betts or Sarah something Beth. like that? Yes, yeah, Sarah, Sarah Betts Bakery. Yeah. yeah. They oh exist my. all over the New York. Oh okay. my goodness. We it just, is, mm, they have a cookbook, but their baked goods were just out of this world. We had a cornbread avocado toast. Oh. With florets of what was what was oh, the floor it's bacon made. yeah <laughs> yeah we'll be we'll be Rolled exercising up. a lot when we i go know home. i know um, and then a little arugula oh, salad with tomatoes and then little biscuits with i mean we couldn't we couldn't stop we so. brought debbie biscuits we yeah. did and that jam. was our, yeah um mm -hmm. that was Oh my gosh. Well, that was not so... that it was kind, yeah. just that yeah. we wanted to make, yeah. she was Delicious. working out, so we wanted to bring <clears throat> right. her something portable. And then portable. Um, we went back on our way back to Debbie's house. We walked down Bleecker Street and we've been um, been wanting to stop in at the Dip Teak store, which is a beautiful fragrance, candle, body, like experience and the shop Jackie put some um, of the images on our stories oh it was, like, and some of it on my yes body. and on your body <laughs> um, but I had been I think I talked about it on the last podcast that uh, uh, my friend Carolyn had we did a mm -hmm. swap I gave her one of my hand knit shawls and mm -hmm. she felt terrible taking and I was like no let's do a swap so she gave me this little um vial of uh of diptyque's the scent was dosan mm -hmm. and so jackie fell in love with that too and so when we went into the shop we knew we had to buy something and we decided we would buy the same scent which you know we pretty much do everything together well but, it's nice because you again you wear that scent yeah. when you're we're apart yes, most right, of the time right so it's nice so I, you know again you know me if you know me you know i like little things and so i found this on display there these little mm. solid perfume mm. um and the i mean everything about this first of all let me just get really close so you can see the beautiful image on it and then you open it up and there's a lovely um solid perfume oh 
Thank you, Kayla. You're welcome. Um, and again, this is the Dosan scent. So in case you want the signature Caddy Jack scent and you'd like to wear your scent along with us. Um, oh, but just listen to that sound. Yeah, I mean, everything really... about And the other thing that I didn't know until um, the saleswoman mentioned to me that these are replaceable. So it I don't think you saw it, but it comes with this little pick to get the, the um, insert out and you can get a new one. So oh, okay, good. Very go. nice. Oh my gosh, it smells so good, doesn't mm -hmm, it? Mm -hmm. Anyway, so that was sort of our little splurge and treat to ourselves. Um, <sighs> yeah. I mean, what what more do you need, people? That's, that's, I think that's all we have. Yes. Um, so. Yeah. Did you have, were you, oh, that's not. Uh, yep, nope. I think we have. Oh, I know what the other little splurgy thing that um, I just wanted to show oh, you yeah. too. Um, that we were, um, there was a package waiting for us from our good friend Susie Corb, um, and she knows that we like, um, that we know. This is such a you color. Oh, I, I know. Hibiscus. That, yes, that one's me. So this is Caitlin. And this one's you. I can't oh, yes, that. absolutely. Yeah. This is lava. Oh, uh -huh. I love lava. I know, right? I just got a manicure, but I'm going to put lava on for my next one. I know, we one. should do, we should paint our nails tonight, but look at this blue. That's amazing. And Hello. actually, I would wear this blue. Oh, you totally I would. I would totally. What is this one called? This is called Deep Sea. Oh, and then the last color is it's guava. It's beautiful. Oh, look at these. Beautiful. Just line them up. Yeah. So, so, so pretty. Yeah, are they all in there? No, not really. But anyway, there we go. Anyway, so Susie has these at Seven Seas Nail Polish. Oh, so beautiful. Yeah. So, anyways, that anyway, was beautiful that's our too. Little, that's our little thing. Anyway, yeah. tired. Like, whew, that was a lot of. So we put on our Instagram because a lot of people said, "Well, next time you come, you should oh. knit with us." So we put on an Instagram like a pop up. If you like want to meet us, let us know. So we're waiting. We have it up, and we'll see if people say they want to meet us for a little knitting. But and where we'll be next? Next time we get together, we're going to go to uh, Black Mountain, mm -hmm. and that yarn shop in North Carolina. It's mm -hmm. yeah, it's in Black Mountain, North Carolina. Yep, and we're going to be hanging out at a wonderful pop up yes. there, and we're so excited about that. Donna has curated just an unbelievable event with I think four other mm -hmm. dyers that are coming in for it, and we'll have information on our um, Instagram about it. But um, so if you're and in, in our show notes, in our show notes. So, but if you're in the area, it will be August. It's the twelfth or thirteenth yeah, or yeah. that weekend. Yeah, we'll put it in we'll our show notes and our Instagram. <clears throat> yep, and. Um, the other thing, just to keep in mind yeah. that we mentioned, but I just want to mention it clearly and so that you know, we are going to be launching for a Love of Linen Quill Cal. Yes. It'll be a very long, year-long Cal because, and it, just to support us because so many of us have fallen in love with that particular <laughs> fiber. And I think, we all think it would be really fun, you know, to have a hashtag like we did with the half wrap yeah. and just have a, a place in our Ravelry group to see the things people do with their linen quill, with yeah. their leftovers, whatever. So whenever you use your linen quill, we're curious about it. And Pearl Soho is going to, the, 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 the thing that launched that besides the half and half wrap was Paula Pereira mm -hmm. because I knit her beautiful sweater, the daily pullover. So we will have at Pearl Soho's offered some patterns and sweater, <clears throat> yarn quantities of sweater. <sighs> So we will yeah. let you know when we have that all um, squared away. Yeah. But in the meantime, we wanted you to know that that's happening and wanted to remind, if you haven't seen it, it was so delightful yeah. to interview Paula. And I literally miss her and I, I wish I had her like, Paula, if you mm. watch this, I want you to Marco Polo me so we can talk more. Yeah. <laughs> um, she she um, was on our last podcast talking about her patterns. So anyways. Sorry, I was looking, you know what we missed talking about? What? The snake. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Caitlin had a wisteria pod that was soft and snaky. <laughs> and it reminded her of another designer and yeah. maker too. Yeah, 
um, one of the one of the people we've been following on Instagram is a is a designer whose Instagram is Inner Wild, and she has some incredible patterns. But one, I, as I went down the rabbit hole of of her designs, um, I couldn't believe that she had a pattern for a slug, a knitted slug, and so this little. I don't know where he went. I'm, I'm it's okay. Sad. Oh, well, we'll, we'll take a picture down, of snake him. Down. Anyway, um, she had, she has patterns for beautiful, ex you know, lovely, lovely things. But I was, it was hilarious that she had this amazing little pattern for a slug. So Caitlin you know, wants to knit it. Totally off she's topic, getting But at. I realize as I'm looking at our, <laughs> yes. our gathering of goods here, yes. that my little snake is not to be. Not well, it's okay. <sighs> anyway, you're here, and so I, thank you yes. for spending time with thank us. Thank you so much. And we have a huge treat. Debbie, do you want to just show your fabulous self? Oh my I will goodness. say hello. Yeah, come on over here yeah, and say hello before we let's say make goodbye room completely. Here, you have to sit. I can just, well, you have to show I can your full. Just fold. do a stand-in. <laughs> well, there Hi, she everybody. Is. <laughs> I'm the lucky one that gets to be mm, with these two I, for oh, a week. Well. It's been so much fun. So yes. it's my vacation. Yeah, it's well, my, I'm staying home, but I get them. It's your staycation. It's <laughs> staycation with Caddy Jack. Yeah, exactly. I'm so lucky. It's just been just one laugh and one fun day after another. And Can you just um, I'm going to have withdrawal. With yes. Just oh, yeah. I've got my good... My, my summer wear. So... Oh, oh. Um... Okay, Debbie this, has a signature skirt um, shape. Well, I have a designer I love called Stella Jean. And <laughs> she's half Haitian and half Italian. And you, can only, you can't really find her in the U.S., but she is online. Oh. Stella, J-E-A-N. Well, we'll put it in And the I love her skirt. So yeah. I have several. Oh, we'll We're, wait, can I just... The, you know what we'll do? We'll high. also take a picture of Debbie. Look at the fun lining. There's sort of a criminal in, yeah. in between the lining. So when Debbie sits up, her skirt goes like, like this. The lining is a striped. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so we love taking the subway with Debbie yes. when she wears one of these. So you know how <laughs> you know men generally will sit down the subway and you know do their man spread. Debbie does her skirt spread. And I she take takes up, up yeah. about three. It takes up a, they take yeah. up a lot of room, but they're they good. They do. So yes. anyway, anyway, thank you for inviting me to say hello. Thank you for hosting hello us. Hello to my to my fellow knitresses and knitter yeah. knit men, yeah. and uh, hope to. Uh, yeah. yeah. Maybe you could send this us off my new with pet. the morning dove call. Yes. Love you. Love you. Thank you. Bye. Hello. Do we have music? Do we have music? Do you I have a song for us, Christy? Yeah, would you like to sing? Would you sing, please? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Caitlin, where have we arrived? We have arrived in New York City. New York! <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, wow. There you go. Okay. Wow. For those of you who've been living under a rock, that's Christy Glass. And Hi, this Christy. is Debbie Corb. And we're in Debbie Corb's kitchen. And it's not fair because Debbie and I have the windows and y'all don't. <laughs> you see the light? I know. The light's like. <laughs> oh, that's right. We get so okay. lit the you, best. That's fine. That's fine. You you guys should shine. The best it's for the guests. York. It's a very yes. nice thing to insist yes. on being lit well, right, Deb? Yeah. yeah. Well, Absolutely. you already said this is my best side when we sit here. <laughs> but it's your podcast. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Some people Tested know how to direct. I sussed it all out. Yeah, like, you did. This, this is, is where I'm Yeah, you sat down first and let everybody else join exactly. you. You have a little experience with this. Anyway, well, you yeah. all have. I'm yeah. the newbie here. Yes. Yeah. So we we uh, jet set it here separately. Some of us got here much easier than others. Mm -hmm. um, but we arrived um, two days ago. Yeah. And we've already had like six days of. New York experience packed into impact into one. one. So good. Yes, we had the um, Christy came from out of town and then toured them around. Yes, to all of the towns. She spots. was the tour guide. All of them. Well, I decided Almost. it was too hot to yes. go out. Well, you said I'm just gonna stay home and knit my sock. <laughs> <laughs> no judgment there. I think well, people well, understand. Well, well, <laughs> Sometimes you just need to get one more row. One uh, more row. Listen, but, it was a boob sweat.
sweat day. It was. Yeah, I know oh, it was. Oh. It was good. Yeah. Yeah. And the socks you were knitting. I mean, come on. We oh, all yeah. stay home yeah. to, to knit those. S segue I right in. Yeah. Yeah. Let's okay. just move right Here, into I'll my new right favorite. In. Like, I'm going to be Sock, the... sock yeah. dyer. Okay. Shirley Bryan socks. Mm -hmm. yeah. Best logo ever. Yes. Yeah. Oh, we do yeah. have one. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. This one's called... Aperol spritz. Aperol spritz. What does that even mean? Aperol is a, is a type of um, <laughs> Medicine? drink. No, it's a drink. Teetotaler. Yes. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No. yes. With a little bit of mascara and tequila, anything is possible. That's Cheers the name. to that. Is the color name? Yes. yes. <laughs> this is my favorite one. I know. Well, and it's, it's, totally so, great. it's so true. It is so right. true. Sorry, yeah. For those, well, in case those, those of us at the table that drink, yes, it's very true. Lipstick and liquor. Can I'm a kitten in a barbie company. Yeah. Yeah. I used to let the babies cry like if I needed to put my mascara on. Of you course. Know, I'm like, listen, I fed you, yeah. you're clothed, <laughs> and I know your diaper is dry. So if yeah. you're crying, you're going to have to wait because mommy needs her mascara. And for me, it was, let me get my shot of tequila there you and then go. I'll be back. There Just kidding. Just <laughs> kidding. You can learn quickly. <laughs> well, and my sons know when I'm doing the eye makeup, they can't talk to me. Yeah. yeah. You know, wow. they've been well trained. The, yeah. Uh, Come back when I'm done with my eyeliner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Although there's no eyeliner going on in the summertime. No, I want more color. Wait, wait, tell the other names too. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Fine. I went straight for the fake eyelashes because. <gasps> no, wait, yeah, this one. Is this good. one is called Olive and Me. Aw, oh yeah, that's yeah. good for you. You look Aww, so oh, look, it goes me. with your outfit. Leave the animal crackers and wine, then slowly back away. <laughs> the animal crackers? Yes. yes. <laughs> and what's the colorway you're doing, oh, Debbie? Jurassic. Oh, Jurassic. Okay. Sweet. Anyway, now, why, I love that. Questions. Why is this called deconstructed fake sock? Debbie? Be, well, Shirley Bryan is a brilliant, brilliant dyer from Canada. And the, the only thing I, the only, my only problem with Shirley Bryan is that there's not enough inventory. You Doesn't that like go? Like yeah, it goes the second. Well, you so know what you the other problem is? Debbie, stop her. her. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was, I missed it every time. So when I knew she was coming, I was Johnny the on fresh. the spot. Yeah, right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. So I got all of this. So I mm -hmm. never have to be. There was one colorway called Surf Camp mm. that she was out that I missed. Oh. But other than that. Anyway, well, and it's fun. They fade from the toe all the way up, and they're, it doesn't look like it would do that, especially with this, but they do. Yeah. She has her own website, Shirley Bryan Yarn, mm -hmm. and she it has stockists, stockists, Stock, stock, stockists. however you say She's that. Mm -hmm. If you can't yes. get anything, if you go to her website, it'll say sold out, mm. but she has stockists, and there are various places around the U.S. that carry her stuff, like okay. Black Mountain Yarn. Oh, okay. Hi, Donna. Um, <laughs> a few others, and and it, it's wonderful. The colors arrive, and you're just so excited. You're just diving. Did you bring your little cardboard template? It's the cutest no, it's thing. Upstairs. She has she has little cardboard templates of everyone in her family's feet. And so smart. And then yeah. she has the little line from the ankle bone where to start the heel because you do the toe up. I did the Susan B. Anthony. I read Anderson. that in book. Susan Anderson. B. Anthony! Susan B. Anderson. <laughs> oh, Susan B. <laughs> you knew what I meant. I know. I yeah. Susan B. Susan B. Yeah, yeah. Susan B. Susie B. SBA. Susie. Is that what it's all? Yes. SBY. Yeah. And, and SBA. SBA. I read that in Fish Lips Kiss also. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The way you do you that, and you yeah. put your foot on a piece of cardboard, someone traces, it tickles, and then you make a line straight down from your ankle and draw a line across the heel. Anyway, that's, so then when you're knitting from the toe up, you get to that line where your heel is going to go in. You just put little uh, markers there. You can either make a long sock or a long leg, or you can do a shorty, which mm -hmm. I've been mm -hmm. doing lately. Where are my socks? Oh, right here. Right here. Okay. So I've been doing shorties because it's summer. Mm -hmm. And this woman doesn't wear oh. pants, by the way, or socks. <laughs> <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> I 
exactly. <laughs> okay. This woman being Debbie? Yes. 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 You know, Debbie, it's, you know, we're sitting, you can't see this the chandelier. This is another we're sitting below. Oh, oh, the chandelier yeah. we'll has put a pages in a book. Mm -hmm. And maybe we should swap them out for socks. Oh, oh, that would be so cool. Yes. You are so smart. Yes. Maybe yes. Jenny. Oh, over yes. our yes. heads. That oh, my gosh. Perfect. That'd be wow. adorable. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have a lot of these hanging yeah. around, yeah. and they don't even or garland on the feet. Yeah, I but like I like it. to make them. They're fun. They're beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and they just—they have such a beautiful drape to them too. Yeah, I'm yes. coming around to socks because I think my problem was doing them two at a time. Oh, and I enjoyed one at a time much better. Yeah, me yeah. too. Yeah. So, and yeah. the secret for just doing one at a time and not ending up uh, smashed is to immediately start the next one yes. when you cast off. Yes, 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 yes. Otherwise, you, you yeah. avoid that sock syndrome. What's mm -hmm. it called? The one sock syndrome. Second, second sock second syndrome. Socks. You don't want to do that. So second I do that. I cast on right away. Here we go. Yeah. Socks in the City with Debbie Core. Yep. And you do Oh my gosh, that's the name of your podcast. <laughs> socks in the City. Oh, love it. Perfect. I was born here. City. Yes, yes. Perfect. Yeah. More perfect than viewers will ever know. Yeah. <laughs> That's so Absolutely. Funny. Yeah. Okay. So you ladies should tell what you did yesterday oh, while I sat around and knit my sock. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you did finish. What did well, you guys do? What did we do? Um, we got mm -hmm. up and ate chocolate chip <laughs> cookies. Pretty much. True, true. Well, but your well, tour of the well, no, I'm, I'm working. I'm okay. working. I'm working towards. What did I eat? Yeah, no, no, I'm starting with the Building beginning. Of the, no, the beginning of the day. Debbie and I are early risers, and when we had our coffee together on your lovely veranda, mm -hmm. and um, and then Jackie woke up shortly after and popped a Diet Coke yeah. and brought out cookies. Yeah, and then Debbie does her wonderful <laughs> going and working out for two hours while we, Jackie and I, lifted cookies. So she cookies can continue to eat cookies. Yeah. <laughs> well, you got yes. us the most amazing cookies from this. We should show yeah, them. Episode, show whatever. Yeah, What's it called, Chris? The Dominic the Ansel? Yeah. Mm. Dominic Ansel. Anyway, they're like brownie cook, chocolate chip cookies. Yeah. Anyway, making me hungry. And um, our food will probably be delivered shortly, <laughs> too, during this yeah. podcast. And then we met Christy. Um, at, in Bryant Park. Yeah, was that your first time there? Yes. That's, oh yeah. my gosh. Mm -hmm. And you are just the most amazing tour guide because, you know, most people would just say, let's walk around Bryant Park and look how pretty it is. But Christy was like, this is where they do, the library has their, um, their book readings and this is where people play chess and here's the little secret garden and oh, there's a carousel there. Oh, Caitlin and Jenny, go get on the carousel and I will <laughs> videotape you. So yes. how lucky are we that we had a lovely videographer yes. um, and then we just, you took, you tell us where you took us. You oh, we went the most to, amazing spot. I, I'm really bad at saying it, but I think oh. it's Kokuni, Kokuniya. Yeah. Which is a Japanese bookstore. Oh, right there. A feast Holtus. for the senses, visually. So, oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. And, and next door to that is Toho Shoji, which is also a fun bead shop. And they, if you sort of like think like a knitter, you can mm -hmm. find some fun things there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I think we went to the library. We got lunch, went to the library, saw yeah. some mm -hmm. bubbles. Yep. Mm -hmm. Saw the lions. Went to Muji. We had like yes. a very sort of Asia themed yes. mm -hmm. start to our yes. trip. Mm -hmm. And then we went to the Garment District, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to B&J and M&J. Mm -hmm. Yes. Two must all the yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Absolutely. And then we were going to walk back to the Greenwich Village, and we decided to, it's not called the Greenwich Village. <laughs> the Greenwich Village. That's <laughs> what I was We walked back saying. to Greenwich Village. Village. And then we decided instead to go over to the High Line. We saw the vessel. Yeah. Well, yes. we should explain what the High Line is for those people who've okay. never been there. So the High Line is like a public park that was built on top of the old elevated subway train mm -hmm. that was abandoned for years and years. Mm -hmm. It's pretty skinny yeah. and it goes from around 34th Street down to 14th Street. So you can sort of see the city from mm -hmm. an elevated point of view walking. Mm -hmm. Right. They have art and Garden. sometimes Garden. vendors. Yeah. Garden. Yeah. And the public restrooms you can use. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And all of the foliage is like native. Uh -huh. to New York and so, it kind of has this wild feel to it yeah mm -hmm. and if you ever are visiting New York City you should and you have children and you want to do that you should pick up the children's book um, I can't think of it now oh the curious garden oh, oh I think mm -hmm. it's by Cedar Brown I could be wrong but it's such a cute wonderful little children's book and that can kind of 
frame, you know, why it's an important part for your child. Mm -hmm. oh, so I, good. I mean, all I can say was we, I personally was blissed out. I mean, oh, yeah. it was just, first of all, it was a hot summer day, but it was so breezy out and it there. Was the golden hour. Oh, yeah. such, and then just the wind going through all the plants and just the textures and, and they have all these incredible, um, architectural benches sort of tucked mm -hmm. in and all these and then sometimes it you know it spits out over certain areas and it's just so spectacular and they and built the, apartments all around oh it. so you can look oh, in people's yes. Yes. windows yes and we posted some photos in our stories and we and we do have a highlight um, that we call we're calling New York's I think New York City yeah. or, that we'll, we'll have some of those things in there but it was yeah you the architecture is just out of this world new and old yeah 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 mm -hmm. they I mean, were like look at the light look at the light on the bricks yeah look at the light <laughs> yes we're, yeah <laughs> i was like am i being annoying and chris was like no no she was very really straight yeah well yeah, and then no. i went to chelsea market yeah yeah a respite from the heat yeah oh the donutarium is that, is that what it's called, called? donutery donutery oh, oh, that. oh, oh yeah we got a donut go. wait yes. a minute oh, there, there are mini donuts and he decorates them for you like yeah and you can watch the come in, it has a little conveyor with the hot oil and you can see the little donuts floating and then they mm -hmm. land mm -hmm. and then they, over they get yeah. sprinkled we'll take you back oh okay thank i'm so hungry i am too uh, but I mean, how many steps did we put in yesterday? I did 20,000. You, you probably did a little less than that. Yeah. Uh, I've done a workout in the morning. Oh, but, yeah. well. You know, yeah. we did walk back and forth to the kitchen several times. True. <laughs> so I bet you it was 20,000. Yes, yes, I exactly. think so. I think oh, like my, it. They were half a yeah. yeah. So it so was, we it was a quickly magic. ate about 20,000 calories. When yeah, we, we made it. Oh, and then we, we ordered made up for it. We oh. ordered dinner from. Yeah, Debbie, Debbie, loves, Cooney. Debbie oh. loves to have guests, but she doesn't cook, which is totally fine. <laughs> Absolutely, good. yeah, love it. So yeah. I'm good at pushing the button on the computer, and then the food miraculously yes. arrives. It is magical. It was delicious. Yes, yes. <laughs> we'll probably hear the buzzer shortly for exactly. lunch <laughs> for the next meal. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it was, I think, one of the. I mean, for me, it was just one of the best days. Me too. It was so fun. And I think what's great about it is like we didn't go to one yarn shop, but yeah. mm -hmm. I kept sort of snapping pictures here and there of things that I want to come back to and revisit. Mm -hmm. You know, it's everything is inspiration for our creating. Yeah. And like even just today, I saw this girl with this blue smock dress on and these rainbow socks and these little sneaks, and so I took a picture of her from behind so I could just remember the palette. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Books in the yeah. Japanese bookstore. Oh. It's like. It's inspiration is everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I loved that you said that so well about New York City. It is the people, and we were just all soaking in that vitality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah. Yeah. It, well, and just the energy to be able to walk everywhere. That mm -hmm. to me is like that is what it's the pulse of the yeah. city. Mm -hmm. When you can just get your city walk on, mm -hmm. and you're like, yeah. you know, you know zooming through the pedestrians and mm -hmm. i think i was on wide angle lens yesterday yeah. though because it was just like open the gate and let me feel how magical this yeah. place is yeah. and i wasn't really at yet yet yeah. able to be like and i'm gonna look at this mm -hmm. right it was yeah. too mm -hmm. oh, yeah. it's also good yeah. just yeah. keep coming yeah. but you're right. becoming a regular <laughs> we're hoping <laughs> All, uh, my this second her, big girl walk yes, 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 girl. socks in the city yeah exactly <laughs> Demi Corp. I mean, Ventures out. Yeah. My own I just board. say, well, I hope I, I see them again. Yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. I, mean, I felt good that Christy was uh, in charge. Yes. <laughs> we felt good about it. Yes. They would get good. back. And yes. Yes. Yeah, you nothing, knew they get back. Nothing yes. bad would happen. Yeah. No. Yeah. And all the things we did, I mean, I want to go back to a Highline mm -hmm. for certain. Mm -hmm. And we'll we'll post in our show notes some the links or, or listing of things. And, yeah. So one of the things that's huge that sort of happened between our podcast that you guys were all a part of at the beginning too was the half and half wrap oh. and you were all half and half rappers. Oh yes. <laughs> we are. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I think it needs a dance or something like yeah. that. Or a wrap. Yeah. Or a wrap. Oh, yeah. Maybe oh, Chrissy, yeah. you could work on that. I, I I'll try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Caitlin's delegating. So yeah, in, the, in the meet between the podcasts, you might have noticed in Pearl Soho announced a tremendous mm. giveaway um, for our for people who are participating in the half wrap cal. Again, the half wrap 
We have some models yes, here. Yes, we have I lots have a, of samples. I have an unfinished oh, one. You one. have the one that launched the whole thing oh, right yeah. there. Ooh. Yep. Mm -hmm. That one you have, Debbie, is the one they have on their website. Yes. Right? Yes. yes. <laughs> we went straight for that. Yes. So this is the free pattern by Pearl Soho. And we reached out to the man who wrote the pattern. Yeah. And we were oh, we we fangirled him. Yeah. And oh, a man wrote the, Oh yes. Adam. Was it Adam? I, no. For some reason I feel like I feel like I can't look Jake at my or, phone because yeah. it's yeah. on yeah. my Would phone. Would you like me to look it up? His name is Jake. I think. Well, anyway, look, Jay, look at that. Okay. I think I know who Jake so is. Mm -hmm. this pattern, as you all know, we've been knitting throughout the pandemic and it's been such a sense of joy and comfort. And I think Pearl Soho really kind of saw that in all of you and your mm -hmm. posts, how taken with it you are, how, I mean, I don't want to assume, but we get a lot of messages, how people feel connected yes. and they feel just soothed by this as do we. And so, and again, it's travel knitting. So here I have my travel yeah. knitting. So they offered, which was incredible. Extraordinary. And extraordinary. Um, grand prizes uh, for Rhinebeck weekend. So if prior to Rhinebeck weekend, you post on our Caddy Jacks Knits Ravelry page, your finished object photo, then you'll be eligible for one of the very generous prizes, gift certificates in the amount of like, Five. Oh, oh, there's lunch. Lunch. <laughs> oh, and here's his name. Oh, that doesn't That's, go. Up. It's Jake Canton with a C. Canton. Do you want me to go? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So maybe we'll Did do. Did you ever say the amount? Hi. I think I. Hi. We started. Oh, I think oh. it's five hundred dollars in the world. Yeah, a one five hundred dollar gift certificate. I believe a two two hundred and fifty. I'm coming. I'm coming back. And I believe and another one hundred twenty five. Yes. And what do you? What did you enter? You have it's to a, knit one and finish it and post an, a finished object photo on our Caddy Jacks half wrap cal ravelry page does it have to be with the linen clothes? it no. does not have to be so no, that, i mean how so generous is that Pearl Soho. they gave the pattern they gave them the yeah ride. what more can they give they can't knit it for you people like just knit <laughs> oh the i thing. know so <laughs> people like, are like i'd like you to knit one for yeah me. please could you gift knit this and the answer Whoa. is a hard stop no no, no. no. Wow, um it's big it's huge and they it's, gave away to begin a, a shawl quantity yes. and they're currently giving away yarn yes. so please do follow their feed because it's extraordinary yes their support of this cow and yeah you know because of you you're extraordinary and i think they saw that yeah and because of you exactly is that a, that's not a song that yeah. is well, a song maybe. now right. no, it's, no it's from kelly clarkson Oh, oh. Right. because <laughs> of you, you knit it. it's all so awesome. You need it all the time. Because of you, you have a chance to win a really, really large gift certificate. Thanks, Pearl Soho. Thanks, Pearl Soho. Thanks. Pearl Soho. They're gonna cut that out. Yeah. No, we won't. We don't have. We don't know how to do that. Come on, Chrissy. This is a flower. This is a low brow. I did. If I, I had the dog Dr. Pepper had, the whole time. I had roses behind us. Yes, you yes. may. You may drink soda on the podcast and yes. you may touch your hair. You can do, yes, you can touch your hair, you can touch my you can, hair, you, you can, can say um. Um, oh yeah, yeah. okay, it's not allowed on mine. Yeah, that, it's not allowed on mine either, but all right. The food oh. Take out. Yeah. Okay. But no, in all seriousness, we are just so appreciative to Pearl Soho um, for just riding this wave yes. with us and then continuing to ride the wave. So there is still time for you to begin this and finish it. And even if you don't, it is the most comforting knit you could possibly do. And you're going to be part of our community. And again, we've said it a lot, but our goal is to meet up at Rhinebeck on the Podcasters Hill Ooh. with every single one of your half wraps. You know, some people will be, you know, bringing a wagon to pull all of theirs. <laughs> I know Jackie will. Um, ah. And so will Debbie. And we want to just be line up and, and show our, show our wraps and, um, 
So that's something we were really looking forward to. That's gonna be a good photograph. Oh, I know. I feel like we have to hire a photographer oh, to do this right. Like or like a drone. I feel like I imagine a drone sure. with with the you know a camera that just yeah. gets the whole thing. So that would be beautiful. Um, we have to set the stage for it. So we're we're super excited and so grateful to Pearl Soho. And that segue. And we can't get enough of linen quill. I mean, you know this, right? Mm -hmm. I, I think we've said it, you know, ad nauseum. But you know, um, I don't think they have this color anymore. I know, um, I don't know where and it I, I got some. Oh, Ooh, really? Well, and I'm some excited. Of the, some of the colors will come back in stock too. So oh, there okay. is a little um, button you can click on if you, you go. Find me? Yes, and they will email you when it comes okay. back in stock. And don't hesitate. And they've had so many sales. And, you know, mm. um, anyway, they're, they're a great company to support. And we're just really so excited to be a part of this with them. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Yay. Well, it's just so fun to see, you know, all the people, on, you know, that are posting on Instagram. And again, our, our hashtag is the half wrap cow. Um, so just please tag that um, in your in your photos and and it will relax you if you have yeah. nerve if your nerves are bad which mm -hmm. mine can get mm -hmm. that will fix it yeah you know? it's just mm -hmm. it's, it's so centering mm -hmm. yeah it, it feels is. real good and, and you see this gorgeous thing appearing before your eyes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And yeah, I had like a moment where I'm like, is this ever going to grow? And then suddenly it did. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I feel a lot better about like you know when you go somewhere and you don't know where you're going yeah it feels like it took forever to get there yeah yes. and then the way home it doesn't yes yes that's yes. exactly that's it. it that's, that's it. so that's smart exactly. i love very that. good description yes. it's perfect yeah, it's yeah. Perfect. So it is a journey that's yeah for sure and you know i think we can also get really hung up on like what's the perfect color combination and it doesn't have to be the only wrap you know, you can, oh, right. you know, I mean, it, it just, I don't know. Sometimes we just get so like, oh, is it right? Is it perfect? Yes. You know, and this one is not about perfection. It's about it's colors not. and textures that fill you up. So I feel like what you're knitting matches my outfit. I, oh, you're right. Maybe oh, yeah. You should do orchid. Well, I was, ooh, oh, I have been thinking about ooh, pink as my other that. color. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my no, gosh. That is so good. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're right. And they make it. If Chrissy like Glass it. makes it so, you these just are, go, yes. These are my boobs, everyone. Thank well, you. These are mine. Uh, these are mine. They're okay. good. They're, They're there. there. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Okay. You know what? I need to sneeze. Okay. okay. All okay. right. Okay. There we go. Um, anyway, so we, um, but we want to. Yeah, we have into, another one. To yeah, because you know, because one cow isn't enough. Well, and, wait a second. I want to say something. This okay. is a good segue. Okay. So that I can get in here. Okay. okay. Um. Spotlights on you. This half and half takes a long time, but it's a wonderful long time. But what it does is prepare you for other big projects mm -hmm. that you might not have otherwise done. Mm -hmm. oh, so I did a big one. Yeah, hold it. Let's spread this Let's out, this sucker. Because it's not 90 degrees here, right? Wait, that's oh. the wrong side. Okay. All right. I'm going to do the right side. Oh, that's mm -hmm. Yum. Yeah. We're here. This is a cape facet pattern. And MDK Knitting, Modern Daily, Daily Knitting, was promoting cape facet. So this, <laughs> this yarn reminds me... Everybody's face wait, quick, Debbie. Sorry. Every, <laughs> this reminds me of linen <laughs> quill. It's yes, Rowan's yes. felted tweed. Oh, mm -hmm. And it has the sort of same quality. Anyway, it's, it took a long time. It's yeah. like cape? No, it, no. Is, it is considered DK. Is oh, it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. It definitely has a fingering quality. Mm -hmm. yeah. It has a fingering mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, it's soft. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to learn in Tarjan. Boy, did I learn in Tarjan. Hold it up one more time. As high as you can. Reach! Wow. Here we go. It's huge. Okay, now let's show the back side so they get the oh, sense of their Tarja. Am I getting anybody's drink? And so, but I, after having made yeah. the half and half, I thought I can do this. Mm -hmm. It can be our and I dove yeah. in and I did it. And did I don't you do the exact colors that he Yes. Yeah, he's good. Not an original yeah, color. Okay. But, it doesn't matter. but I love K Facet's yeah. color choice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, he's good. Yeah. So I just yeah, why picked, exactly. Now I want to make another one of these. Of course you do. Because I have a niece and a nephew and I want to give one to eat. Not until I die. <laughs> Which is not anytime soon. <laughs> no. Um, and I want to have one for each of them. So I want to make one maybe pink. Which mm. one? Mm. Oh, yeah. the, the KG colors. Yes. 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 Which I will. Yes. Yeah. Anyway. Well, and that's you've done. Well, you no. could do one in 
Lynn and Quill yeah. and be able yes. to participate in our next cow, which yes. is for the love of Lynn and Quill. <laughs> That's what it's called? <laughs> That's what we're calling it. For the love. For the love. I wonder if there's it's a song. song. For the love. It feels like it has to be. Like, yeah. yeah, we'll think Feel about it. Feel the love. Anyway, share the love. Yeah. For the love. Because what happens, and I don't have it with me, but the last time we were, well, I was just on it by myself. Yeah. Caitlin was working. But we had Paula Pereira on, and she mm -hmm. designed for Pearl Soho the daily pullover, mm -hmm. which is was a two skein V necked sweater that was yeah. just perfect. Classic, shape. classic, mm -hmm. perfect silhouette in linen quill. Mm -hmm. And so, oh, did you bring it? No, I didn't. I forgot it. You know, I was just you know packing all things. Sorry. She bought a really <laughs> small suitcase and couldn't fit it. Yeah, whatever. Okay, I. They're giving Fine. me some grief. You, show, you showed it on a small suitcase. But oh, yeah. good for you. But well, you did show it at the recent podcast. Yes, so and I tune into that. Put yeah. a photo in yeah. or whatever. But the thing is, is if you're anything like us, you're you have a lot of linen quill now, mm -hmm. and you've <laughs> fallen for it. Mm -hmm. Sorry, not sorry. Exactly. So it's really delightful, and you have a, an anthe you did in it too, a moonstruck anthe in mm -hmm. linen quill. Mm -hmm. Is that here? Yeah, yeah. it's the this? white no. and this, it, it's no, it's so. Mm -hmm. The, the, oh, that's right. Should we show it? this? No. It's this one with the orange. Oh, I yeah. just picked that's one. Oh. Yeah, that's yeah, it. That's it. Yeah. This oh. is. Oh. Wow. Sorry, oh my. Um, yeah. So this. Oh, oh it, you obviously oh. blocked this. Oh, you went blocked this. Oh my goodness. Oh, so I here's, I did. Yeah. here's yeah. linen quill and mosaic knitting. This is oh. by Moonstruck Knits. So we want to see all the linen oh, quill so and beautiful. all of the patterns. For oh, so the love. Yes. For the love. <laughs> Yeah. Exactly. So, anyways, that will we'll put more details oh, out about. Yeah. But it's going to be a long, like a year long, oh, knit along yeah. of LQ. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, I love that so good. There she goes. Yeah. So garments, shawls, any you know when you've knit three or four of them, you end up getting a lot of linen quill left over, and mm -hmm. the color palette is so amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think it'd just be fun to keep the community alive yeah. after Rhinebeck. So yeah. that's that's something that we're planning on. And of course, Pearl Soho is offered to support it with sweater quantities for the daily pullover, mm -hmm. if you love that, and, free, and patterns. free patterns. And so that's coming up. So look forward to that mm -hmm. with us. And keep loving on your linen <laughs> that's so glorious I, yeah so you haven't wonderful. done a moonstruck knit shawl yet no yeah no. i don't know what that is oh, okay oh my gosh. Anyway. um it's at the end of the table okay yeah. yes we are we are a full-on natasha hornby, hornby fans of yes. moonstruck knits Oops. fans um, so this, that's her name and then that's her company yeah and moonstruck knits yeah. is her um knit company oh, um, i love the so, yes yeah, so what the, what is this wool Oh, That's from is... the Faroe Islands. Yeah. And we were yeah. trying. We were sitting around fun. last evening trying to figure out where are the Faroe Islands. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we're gonna put them all yeah. on you. And we yeah. figured yeah. out where they are. They're kind of near Iceland. Oh. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. the three of us have knit this in exact exactly to pattern with the same yarn. Same same colors? Colors? Uh, yep. In fact, mm -hmm. Caitlin has Debbie's yarn in her. Yes, shawl. I do. That yes. happens to be Debbie's. It's like the girlfriend. Okay. What is this one called? Lune. Or the, I think that's how it's pronounced. Mm -hmm. yep. This is another this one. This is okay. one that I have the leftover yarn for that I want to knit. This is the Mon, right? The Mon. Yeah. yeah. The Mon. The Mon. This is, and we think Don't forget the the. The, 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 the Mon. The Mon. The Mon. Huh. So, so beautiful. Good. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And they've yeah. seen that. That could be the skirt. So perhaps. most of her um, knits she does in, in very <laughs> rustic yarns, but I think that's Only the about beauty. ninety-five degrees. Yeah, but I think she that's the beauty low. of linen quill is it does. It you can go. It, you can. You don't you can have wear to do rustic. For a shawl. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Okay, do the okay. mar, this? which now Caitlin. Has. This is that's it? no. That's yeah. The, the mar. mar. Yeah, yeah, that's mine. One. Yeah, and here I'll twin with you because okay. I finished mine. Oh my gosh. And we we actually could triplet. This one's yeah, a big jacket. Oh, look at that! Wow, that is long. Yes, this one is ten feet long. What? Yes. yes. So for those, yeah. few, I had a viewer. Go ahead and wrap it, Christy. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Um, <laughs> I had a viewer comment. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Then there's the the 
There, this the is vulva the calla. So the vulva shawl. So the, the vulva. Well, I, yes. all right. So this is the story. Now okay. you have to rate it differently. Okay. We're on YouTube. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, it is an anatomical part. Well, we're not everyone's saying. vulva looks different. Yes. I mean, this is for what that. Caitlin's vulva looks like. Maybe not. <laughs> um, Do we get a close up? No. Yes. There you go. Here's uh, the, the shawl. Yes. yes. Um, but I did oh. just well, finish. And if you did it in linen quill, it would. Yeah, you. It has the little hairs. It has the little pubic hairs. Yes, we did because we talked about this on the podcast. Do, have you ever really looked closely at linen? Like at linen. What is that? Linen. What is that? Thank you. You're welcome. You, that. you 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 went you went low. Huh? You went no, low. No, talking about your okay. Your the parts part. is not low. It's nice. okay. It is true. Right. Right. You're right. Down right. Low. Sorry, we went down. So the story with I've always seen cow lilies, and I always think. Bulba. Thank you for sharing that. Well, I already <laughs> shared on the podcast. You're just catching okay. up because clearly you don't watch. How are you feeling the in podcast? there? You know, I run cold. <laughs> oh, Debbie has very good central air. Yes, yeah, she does. Rare in, in New York, York City. City. I know. Oh, okay. Well, we, I think you got them all. Um, okay. We did Whoa. that. Wow. Right there we go. You're okay. Nice. Moonstruck girl. Not show. Moonstruck girl. Oh, there she is. A vision coming on you. A vision. Oh my goodness. You know, they can just have fashion shows like this and then people just like. Yeah, exactly. Heal the line. Yeah, Yeah. it's like now it's a strip tease. It's actually pretty. Yeah. It's like not too hot in here, but this um, reminds me of what Moira wears. You know, that helmet that she wears. You're very obsessed with Moira. I love her. Yeah. yeah, she's my style icon. Yeah, after Debbie Moore. Well, I, you exactly. know, I was a little bit worried that we wouldn't really she's have like, any entertaining things to talk about. <laughs> no, but you were. I know, of course, I wasn't. But you oh know, my thanks goodness. for bringing your A game. I feel like we need to do a time lapse of this de stripification. Okay, I know. Like, like maybe yeah, with okay. another well, camera. Like, like, you're yeah. just gonna, <laughs> yeah, whatever you want to do, Christy. We're at your. <laughs> we're so we have one more. Oh, yes. No, no, no. That oh. But, but this is magnificent. Yes. This is Debbie's I, latest I'm knit. Gonna, yeah. I tried this one on. Okay. okay. Um, so let's show it first. And okay, then this, move. guys, is the number 10 yeah. by Lori Versace. And I always okay. admired it. And it, it, it was, uh, oh, actually, we have it upside down. Okay, sorry. Here we go. It's upside down. Switching it up. And this, um, look at this, people. It's made with hypothesis yarns. Oh. And she sells kits, but it's hard, again, it's like uh, Shirley Bryan socks. It's hard to get them. So here's what we're thinking. Wouldn't it be fabulous to knit this in linen? Linen well, well, For the love of <laughs> LQ. For the love of LQ. LQ. Okay, we'll I say for the, you say love. love. For the. Love. For the. Love. love. Yeah. yeah. It's a cheer now. Okay. Okay. Oh dear. Yeah. Debbie, do you want to do No. That's no. a bad thing. Okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is another knit that would be so comforting because it's all garter stitch and how amazing to use your leftover oh, linen yes. quill. Mm-hmm. Or, or, use or a little in charge. Yeah, or, yes. you know, I'm also thinking like, let's spread the love in this community. If you got a little bit, you know, share it with somebody. Ooh, yeah. Like, wouldn't it mm-hmm. be fun? Um, maybe at Rhinebeck we could have a, a little trade. Like, yes, a trade. Yes. 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 Because swap. Because, yes. yes, because it's a six skein. Yeah. Yeah, we should so do project. that. You can you can get a little scale and you can make yeah. a little. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Oh. We'll have to figure out the how much. Quantity. Should be like fifty yeah. grams. Yeah. 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 Or or pearl. Maybe you should start making minis. Mm. Just saying. Mm. But it's so good because there's yeah. so many cool colors. Oh, I know. Yeah. And you get. You like get to yeah yes. you know get a right taste get out of your system yes. with this knit right yes. that was all made with minis and yeah. you don't have to do what how many colors was it five ten ten colors we could do twenty or you yeah. can do four yeah, yeah. absolutely mm. it's so Christy's good. bringing the big ideas to this podcast yeah. that's why we call her we caught her in here yeah <laughs> anyway exactly. I am so in love with yes. this so, so I, as soon as Debbie brought it down I you know I really much pretty much have been wearing it. Nonstop. Yeah, I love it. it is glorious. So, so this might be my future. What about this? Okay. Oh well, That's, this. Well, that we're gonna. Yeah. Turn, we can, you can talk about, about it. Um, this is some of the yarn that Debbie, Aunt Debbie, has gifted to Jackie and I mm-hmm. for um, the Fox Thoughts sweater, which I don't Jackie, recognize any of those yeah, colors. Yeah. Yeah. That was for the green one. Remember, yeah. there was a. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. there was yeah. one with Oh, oh Matt, yes. and then there was another one that was in, and I, Caitlin is always loving green, so I got her that oh, one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was so sweet of you. I know. Mm -hmm. It's more than sweet. It's extremely generous, but this oh, is the sweater. Yeah. So this the Jackie, original. of course, so whipped through. Of course. Um, and so, in the, no time. So, my Debbie, version. Let's point to where we are. Okay, yeah. hold it up. <laughs> Christy has yeah, one, too. I, I think you're further along. I think I'm about here. No point on this. Oh, you have it. Yeah, I oh. have it. This is as far as I've got. Okay. 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 Do you want to see how far I got? Yes. How far are you? Um, this is how far I got. Look how cute it is. Yes. My vintage yes. Bag. yes. That's part of knitting. Having right. I mean, you know, come on. It. That's the first step. Yeah. It is. Exactly. And then, Love and then you it. can't. Well, you can sort of see it over my sh right shoulder. Is Debbie in her kitchen? She has I her motorized permanent. ball winder and yes. Swift attached to the counter, and so I will be spending lots of time winding mm -hmm. the minis. I yeah. think I've that been was the wrong order. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can't get my elbows down. <laughs> uh, no, that is good that she has that motorized one because it yeah. takes forever. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it yeah. does. Yeah. You know who got me to. To get that was that lovely woman who owns Brooklyn General, Catherine. Catherine! Yeah, she's probably sick of you bringing all your yarn there. Catherine, no. Love Catherine. She said it saved her life. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, I love Nemesis, yeah. fighting words. I oh, need that. I oh, have yeah. the, the ball winder? Yeah. 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 Well, for a shop owner, for sure. Exactly. Well, you yeah. Have but I have enough nice yarn nice. that I figured... And yeah. it's, it really is a wonderful thing to have. Yeah, it's very fun. I, I totally enjoyed it. Oh, and speaking of Catherine at Brooklyn General, look yes. what came in the mail. I know, just like special the delivery. Most adorable uh, little package. Oh Love gosh, is in the so making. Cool. The way the box is customized. Yes. yes, for the kit. So tell us about this, Debbie. Okay. When Catherine Clark this does a new Catherine. design, I can't help myself. <laughs> It's if I need one more thing, <laughs> but I am so inspired. Mm. And what I didn't realize is I made it, I ordered a kit. I thought I was just getting the pattern oh my in gosh. the yarn. Oh my gosh. There were all these right? little bonus. Oh. Right, that's the little fluffy oh. tail. Oh. It's surrey. Oh, that's perfect for the day. Look at yes. the mini skeins. There's so many. Oh my goodness. Let me oh. show them really close. Do you know what Louise, my dog, does? She eats. <laughs> Oh, oh she does. the little she? seed thing. She just oh oh for the, the dandelion. Yes. Oh. you know how little kids like oh. blow them. Louise just eats them. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. Isn't that terrible? Maybe she's making like, lots of wishes. I'm like, doesn't that taste oh. like gross? Mm -hmm. Nope. She just <clears throat> loves it. Well, you can eat dandelions. She's a strange dog. Yeah. Well, um, are we surprised? No. Because she's mine. Yes, right. She's wearing sweaters right now. Right? She exactly. Yeah. She's she's nice. Okay. She's okay. a Keep great going. beauty. I think anyway, go ahead. Oh, okay, wait. So Jackie oh, yes. came yes. to show oh, me and I something. Brought some yarn. <gasps> yes. Mm. Oh, you yeah. guys. Tell us about this yarn. You know more than I do. Newton, I don't know much. Oh. I just know that you have to be up at two in the morning <laughs> to get it because it's Debbie so will be buying all of it then. That one's no, called and Deb goes enough. to bed early. Mm -hmm. We know anything uh, about her, so it's hard to get your mitts on. Mm -hmm. But it's made in oh. Sweden, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> it's just I a, found mm -hmm. out about it through Amy Palco, the one and only Hi. Amy. Amy. One, the gentle knitter, she talked mm -hmm. about it too. Mm -hmm. Nicole. Yes, uh, Nicole, who mm -hmm. makes one beautiful thing after another. Yeah. Both of those ladies do. It's the softest stuff. So Jackie, of course, managed to get some and made this creation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is Paula Pereira's pattern. Mm -hmm. And it is, wow. I looked at it on Jackie's mm -hmm. YouTube on the YouTube channel, which you're looking at. It's called Caddy Jacks, <laughs> in case you haven't is. seen it. Caddy Jacks in the city. Yeah. Caddy Jacks in the city. As my mother calls the computer the television. I looked yes. at the television and I thought, oh, that looks so hot. And I'm, I'm now touching the real thing. Yeah, and we're all touching it. Soft yeah. and it's light. It's like Victorian. Well, and you ran yeah. it with yeah. a strand of mohair. Yeah, right? from the house. Oh, that house. and the, the stitch maple. that you use. And Jackie, as we know, can do just about anything in mm -hmm. breakneck speed, and this was hard for her. Mm -hmm. So I'm very intimidated. Well, I don't know that. that I'll make the same thing. Um, I think it was, you know, when you have a setup, and you have, these were three 
we had two cable needles and then mm. uh, for all the cables that really wasn't a big deal but this is a tuck stitch so you have to pick up tiny little things and go back and forth mm -hmm. but i love the tuck stitch yeah, i love what beautiful. it does and then this stitch pattern just keeping it c stitch it's not even, it's something else. It's like a scallop. It's a slipped stitch, yeah. and then there's um, increases, and you, you know, so just keeping it in pattern, et cetera. Mm -hmm. I think I expected it to go faster, mm -hmm. I, and so I, and then there was this quality to the yarn itself, I will just say, I haven't blocked this yet, but there was a quality <clears throat> that the, um, the maker of the yarn, she talked about it, and she has a Patreon, and so you can see her podcast if you support her Patreon. And she talked about each month she creates a new colorway. And this one for her and her partner was about like psychologically had a story to it mm. about going into, this is what they experienced, the shadow and mm. facing their fears mm. and, and like those sorts of journeys. And of course, while I was knitting this, I had all sorts of stuff going mm. on in my life that was very, very hard. So it just felt like there's no way out except through. through. Whoa. So it was yeah. very, yeah. yeah, it was very, for me, I, I didn't expect, but it was a very psychological knit for me. Mm. And and it was, you know, and, it, and then there's this thing of beauty mm -hmm. on the other side yes. of that. But I had to just be with and be with and be with my uncomfortable feelings. Now, so come I have a question <laughs> about it. I'm told that this can pull apart very easily. Yes. So yeah. you have to sort of figure out how to handle it. Yes, that's my question. Yeah, and it was good to run it for me. This particular, this just particular colorway, she said, was less stable than other mm -hmm. ones. So no, it would go great. from thick to thin. So I was very, she suggested doubling this, but it only took two and a half plates and I ran it with mohair. But the interesting thing is while it does just pull apart like that, if you hold You're closely together, and... you can just like pull with all your might, like pull, you've used it before. You pull with all your might and you can't that break is, it. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy so yeah. paradoxical, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's, wow. It's, it's, Christy, what did you make with it? Um, oh. The Christy Lopi. It's it on today. Big. Yeah, it's on today. But whenever mine broke, I just wet my fingers with my spit and mm -hmm. just spit oh, it oh, yeah. good. Mm -hmm. okay. I just agitated it. Well, and to be clear, your your yarn was not, not the same, this. but it looks very, it's a very similar it's construction. It's a pencil rolling. Exactly. Yeah. Pencil yeah. rolling. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What, yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, I was going to uh, I thought of something. That is so it's interesting. Fast. I never knew that about the close up. Yeah. 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 Cool. And, and in order to like, for instance, I had to do a... Um, tubular bind off was what was suggested and I was like oh it was so painful to do but I you know hand kind of felted it and some people say you could actually spin it on a little spindle if yeah. you would know how to do that I wouldn't yeah. for just that piece that you're gonna yeah. sew mm -hmm. the bind oh. off with oh mm -hmm. you mean to finish it because to sew with yeah, that sure. was, no it's not oh, yeah. yeah so I had to do that but so even a coincidence that you had this experience all or do you think that it manifested I think it oh. manifested for sure mm. yeah oh so for sure you said all coincidence and it manifested well so, yeah. to me yeah. yeah okay oh, so it wasn't it. my intention mm. at all I thought I was doing I thought I thought, I really love, I just finished knitting a sweater by Paula Ferreira and I was like, I wanna continue knitting her mm -hmm. patterns because mm -hmm. she, I, you know how you get a good mm -hmm. feeling yeah. about a designer? Sure. I just had such a good feeling about her and I wanted to keep working with her designs. And so I thought this one, and I thought, <clears throat> I have this yarn just sitting there mm. and I need to use it. It was its turn. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, and it felt like it needed the right pattern. And then when, you know, when mm -hmm. that happens, yeah. when the yarn says, I want to be this, yeah. you just obey. Well, it's not like this I need this. Down. Is <laughs> yeah. this technically roving? It's called pencil roving. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is. And what is it considered in terms of weight? That's the... Mm. Right. It can be a lot of things. This particular one is probably fingering lace, something mm, like that. Really? This just by itself? Let me see. Because I did it with mm, with mohair and it became If you DK. don't hold it together with anything, is it impossible to work with? No, no it's just not at all. What all of them are made of in Iceland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's oh. just this one, this literally, you know, she uses different breeds of sheep mm -hmm. and she has this old machinery. And this particular one was sort of, I would say, perhaps. It's considered worsted. 
this one was a true. Okay. Yeah. But the other thing about this yarn is anybody who's knit with it waxes on mm -hmm. about it. That mm -hmm. it's the most glorious yarn to work with. Mm -hmm. It um, oh, exactly. up beautifully. And um, yeah. so I think there are people who will, might be scared off by your description of this, but what you're saying is that this specific dye lot and um, type was a little bit more problematic than the rest of the Nutidin line for the most part. Yes. <laughs> and the people absolutely adore it. There was so, a very oh, pale about, pink that I wanted yeah. so badly and I slept right <coughs> through the update. So oh, that was disappointing. That seems to be a theme with you. Yeah. Sleeping not through the updates. I, I like you know, my sleep. But yeah, not everything is like immediately accessible. It doesn't yeah. have to yeah. be. And it can be special and you can be patient. Mm -hmm. and you can, Not about the updates, yeah. but no, about learning true. to work you, with yeah. something. And all of that, like you do so, have to follow them on Instagram to figure out. Okay, I'm gonna follow them. What is yeah. that handle? Um, home, home row share. H O N E. Home. Or H O N. -E. Yeah. Home. Yeah. Row. Oh, oh I, I see. see. Yeah, there. Yeah, there you go. Home, home yeah. row yeah. share. So huh. she's like, she's a very um, so cool, magical sort Mystical. of. Yeah. She's yeah. an artist yeah. for sure, and she's very. I don't know. These are dumb words. These deep. sheep are so cool. Yeah, yeah. her photographs. Every it's just clearly yeah. it's a, it's a passion. It's they're all in. Yeah. And so, anyways, I felt it was like I felt honored to participate and be a part of it. And I, of course, I found all these poems while I was making mm -hmm. it and wrote poems and so etc. So it was a real full full experience yes. and it has a glorious neckline i will block it and wear it but not on a 90 dude no, no. Not, at all. Really yeah, not at all and i There's guess the I other thing one that... more fo that i did too <gasps> that is so good i don't know if i could make that you could I mean, make you it you could make it I, I know i could yeah. what i mean is i don't always enjoy all of that yeah mm -hmm. yeah stitchy mm -hmm. yeah stitchy stitches <clears throat> stitchy stuff so this is the bright this was my junko in june the Have thing was junko yeah, Junko. She well, has to be the bouquet. bouquet. Yeah, oh, the yeah. bouquet. Yeah. That's yeah. right. And Louise has one. Yes. yes. Of course she does. But this this part of the yoke was done on sevens, just incidentally. But this was a beautiful stitch. This little um, stitch oh, down the it is so That's not blocked, is it? Beautiful. Yes, you're mm -hmm. right. And, yes, and this one is blocked. And what's yeah. that yarn? Romney? Yeah, the Romanian. Romanian, very... But apparently they don't make this yeah. yarn anymore. But, How did and you get it? She got I, I got it along a while okay. back and um, I did a folded over collar instead of the rolled collar mm -hmm. and it had that's the only modification it has a little short rows in the back and I have to say that I've worn cool. this a ton like in the summer as that like and put cold. on yeah. something yeah yeah it's with shorts and I yeah. yeah I've worn it with shorts I've worn it to the play when it got cold anyways it's such a great like I'll wear this for I feel the rest like we, of my life we must have talked it on, about it on the podcast but maybe you weren't finished with mm -hmm. it yet yeah okay yeah because so, I was yeah. with you yeah yeah it's it's a classic I adore it mm -hmm. was it difficult did you would you say that was difficult I didn't find it difficult at all I, I think either. um Junko's patterns are so well um, written mm -hmm. and her charts are and I, I think I feel like when I took on the plum I thought that was one of those challenging sweaters like once I do that I can go check done it. yeah I think I feel like all everything is possible it's just a matter of taking your time and paying attention to the instructions and then just DMing Jackie for yes <laughs> Just kidding, people. She gets a lot of messages. But no, it really is about just taking taking your time. See, she's fixing my knitting right now. Um, just taking your time through it. I mean, mm -hmm. it's really, you know, just I don't know. They're just they're they're so worth it. They are so worth it. Well, they oh, are. absolutely. Um, I want to. I won't do that. One I know. Too. We well, all. Well, again, all it's things. that community of like we talk about. You know. Junko, we talk about yeah. Natasha, yeah. we're talking about Paula, we're yeah. talking about Linen Quill. I, I love, you know, how you, in your knitting, you weave all this stuff together, yes. the people you love, even the people we don't know that we love, like yes. these designers that maybe we don't even know, but we love them. Totally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because they come into our lives with what they've made and share. At the right time. Yes. Yeah, right when you yes. need them, right yes. on time. Oh, I love knitting. Uh, we love knitting. knitting. And we love eating. Yes, mm -hmm. and before we sort of because I think Hard we're pretty much wrapping up. Oh, wait. Oh, oh you have oh. something else to, okay. Yeah. 
have something. Oh, oh that's yes. right. Oh, we love good. knitting, but we, need yes, we love craft. Yeah, we need we a love little little Now, is this going to be backwards? Um, no, no. no. This is something else, just to break. Let's let me hold it. Up. Is it a palette cleanser? A palette exactly. cleanser. What does it say? That's such a Somebody good else thing. has to read it. Girl, what does it say? It says, "Girl old enough to know better would like to meet man not quite that old." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so if anybody's single and fits this description out there, sir, let us know. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway, oh. I used to be a big needlepoint yes. person and then I when I got discovered the knitting yeah. the knitting so yeah. more the knitting. fun the I kind of stopped yeah. like the linen clothes but I rediscovered my needlepoint lady who keep designing Amanda keep who is genius lives on Long Island has a she's a one-man show and she'll do anything you want if you have an idea in your head oh. that you want to make something, she'll paint it. She's a brilliant Was that your, did you come I up wanted that? that. That saying is not my saying. It was the Duchess of Windsor. It was part of the Duchess of Windsor's belongings oh. mm -hmm. when she went to her great reward. So I wanted to have that. And, and it's simple, you know, it's just. But she painted but, it? She painted it. Oh, that's so neat. And sent me the yarn. I mean, it's a whole consultation with you over the phone. What mm -hmm. colors of blue do you want? And yeah. I had a whole bunch of them already, and so she matched those colors, and she painted the, and it's been fun oh, to throw in so there. Fun. I don't want to let go of one craft. Yeah. Right. No, you don't have say to. Another. Another. No. your brain active. We were, we were oh, talking There's about another it. delivery. Part. The can, next meal has arrived. Okay. Well, um, oh, wait, before, wait. Thank our we're talking oh. about crafts, and Christy, you guys were talking last Hello. night about a craft that you used to do. What was that? Called? Oh, latch hook. Latch hook. No, I started it. I don't know I about latch hook. Yes. Well, what Caitlin wants me to say is thank you. I mean, thank you. Thank you to our Patreon people who have helped us come to New York to podcast together. But, and also, thank you to Christy and thank you to Debbie. Yes. You guys have been the best hosts and tour guides. Yes. And, and wow. knitting BFFs. Oh, yes. Yes. So, yes. yes. We're and so we grateful. Like it. And thank you for coming and joining us. Socks in the city. That was totally cheap. Hey. Oh wow, this is good. Oh, this is nice. Little moth balls. Fur balls. Yeah. Um, look at this. Oh, genuine fox trip. Jacks. 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 Jacks.